Treating MS neuropathic pain can be tricky. In this video, I'm going to share with you six supplements that can treat pain in the setting of MS. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Hey. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. In this video, I want to tackle a particularly nasty symptom of multiple sclerosis, pain. Now this YouTube channel has a lot of videos on neuropathic pain and various types of pain in MS. And if you'd like to check some of those out, I'll throw a card up above here so you can check out a playlist on pain in MS. A lot of those videos teach you tricks and tips, behavioral techniques, different things you can do with your sleep hygiene, and lotions and potions, medicines that can treat pain. In this video, I want to do something a bit different. I'm going to limit our discussion to supplements that can help pain in MS. Quick medical disclaimer, the information in this video and all of my videos are intended to educate you, right? They're intended to give you information so that you can have engaged conversations with your clinician. I'm not treating you over the interwebs and you have to talk to your doctor about what's right for you. So with that framework in mind, let's jump in. The first supplement I like to discuss is magnesium oxide. Magox can help with a lot of things actually. I've used magnesium oxide to help people who are significantly constipated. We may have referred to it as a mag bomb. I've used magnesium oxide to help with spasticity. Now, some patients that have mild degrees of spasticity are able to manage it just by taking magnesium oxide. And they say, hey, Dr. B, I don't need your baclofen, etc." That's always an awesome moment. I've also used magnesium oxide to help with headaches. Number two is riboflavin, which is one of the B vitamins. So riboflavin turns out to have some evidence to be able to help prevent migraine headaches. So it can be used as a prophylactic medicine that you take on a daily basis to stave away migraines. Now there are a lot of prescription migraine prophylactics out there, but for someone who's looking for a natural option, riboflavin works for some people. Real quick before we go on, if you like this video, do me a kind favor and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Those two actions teach the YouTube algorithm that you dig the content and help push it out so more people impacted by MS can benefit. Thank you. My third supplement to discuss is alpha lipoic acid, or ALA. Alpha lipoic acid has some literature supporting its use to treat neuropathic pain in diabetic neuropathy. Now, people impacted by MS typically don't have diabetic neuropathy, but they certainly can have other forms of neuropathic pain. And anecdotally, some of my patients have noticed that it's helped. The next two supplements are cannabinoids or chemicals found in the cannabis plant, THC and CBD. Let's take them in turn. THC is a controlled substance here in Ohio, and a person can't gain access to it without a medical marijuana card. I have a lot of videos on this channel about medical cannabis, so I'll throw a link up here in case you wanted to check that out. But what I'll share with you is one of the most successful uses of THC in my practice is treating neuropathic pain. You can find a salve or a topical THC that you apply to the skin, there are tinctures that you can take or edible forms that you can eat. If you need a very, very fast onset, some patients will use a vaporizer device, which heats up the THC below the level of combustion and creates a vapor that they suck in. And all of these have been successful in various ways of treating neuropathic pain in my clinic. Interestingly, CBD has also been very helpful. Now, CBD is a cannabinoid, but it doesn't have any psychoactive properties. It doesn't make you feel medicated. And at least in Ohio, it's not a controlled substance. You can pick it up at your uh, local pharmacy or even at your local supermarket. And again, I've had anecdotal reports of patients that have had great success using CBD topically and orally to help with forms of neuropathic pain. Hi, River Doggy. Hi, pretty girl. You want to say hi to the internet? Say howdy. Good baby. Lay down. The last supplement I like to talk about is melatonin. And it's maybe not exactly a pain medicine, but I bring it up because it can help with pain. Here's the deal. People impacted by MS oftentimes have disordered sleep. They're not good sleepers. And if you do not get restorative sleep, all MS symptoms uptick. 
including pain. And so you can exacerbate a chronic pain syndrome by poor sleep. Getting restorative sleep is super important in that regard. And melatonin, a very naturally occurring substance, is an awesome way to help facilitate a good night's sleep. And as a result, decrease your pain. So I think it deserves to be in this video. Did I forget any supplements that you have found to be helpful in treating pain? If so, please leave them down in the comments section below. Probably the most impactful way that you can help this channel is by watching another video. So if you'd like to learn more tricks and tips, click the video that's on your screen right now. Or until my next Monday morning video or my next monthly live stream, or the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.